Hey everybody, Cruz Man here out in the garage today, and I have been working with this CarLink kit wireless CarPlay adapter on this 2018 Goldwing for the last couple of weeks, two or three weeks, and I finally found a way to get it to consistently connect every time, at least so far, and I'm going to tell you how I do it. This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. So as many of you know, I was really excited when I first got this CarLink kit uh, wireless CarPlay adapter because wireless CarPlay is one of the things that I've been asking for for a long time. And so I was really hopeful and I've talked to other Goldwingers that have these wireless Bluetooth adapters and they've had pretty good luck with them. Uh, Robert White, Don Smith, many of you know from my uh, moto vlogs, also has one in his pickup truck that he's been using with good results. Now, again, his is a different brand, but I think they're all kind of along the same concept. So I was very excited about it because one of the things I hated about uh, the Apple CarPlay on the Goldwing is having to plug the phone in every time and I had to go through this weird sequence. I had to uh, basically start the motorcycle and then turn on the headset and get it to make a Bluetooth connection and then plug in my phone inside this little cubby or uh, center pocket. It was just kind of clunky. Plus, I, I would forget that I put my phone in the center pocket and then I would get in a restaurant or somewhere and think, oh my God, I left the phone out of the bike and it's not locked up. So, you know, I was a, you know, always concerned that somebody might get in there and take the phone. So with wireless Bluetooth or with wireless CarPlay, uh, that became less of a concern because I can always keep the phone in my pocket. So I hooked it all up and I think I did a video on it for you and it worked fine a couple of times, but then it started showing its own little, uh, shall we say, eccentricities or idiosyncrasies. Uh, sometimes it would connect, sometimes it wouldn't. And uh, I asked Robert what was his sequence, how did he start up his motorcycle to get his Bluetooth or his uh, wireless CarPlay to connect. And I try, I think he even did a video on his channel where he explains what he has to do. And it just didn't work for me. It didn't work. What I was having to do was I was having to turn the bike on and then connect my headset and it would not connect and then I would have to turn the bike off and then turn the bike back on, restart the bike and then the second time it would connect. Kind of like the problems I was having with the uh, Senna and the Cardo before just with getting the, the headsets to connect. And so I thought, well, I'm going to try a few different sequences and I actually kind of stumbled on to a way to get mine to connect. And I'd say the last 10 or 15 times in a row, I've been able to connect it. And I, like I say, I just kind of stumble on to this sequence of events that I go through to get it to work. Now, first, before I get into that, I want to tell you what are the, the variables that are in play here. One thing is I'm using a Senna communicator that's in an impulse helmet. It's built in, in fact, it's right here. It's built into this helmet. Uh, if you have a Cardo, your sequence may be completely different. So even if you have like a Senna 50S or a 50C, or if you have a 30, I don't know. It could be a whole different set of circumstances for you, I just don't know. The other thing is I have the CarPlay adapter from CarLink Kit. You may have to stumble onto a sequence that works for you. I'm just going to show you what works for me and I will, uh, you know, you might want to give this a try because maybe this, if you're having trouble getting your CarPlay, your wireless CarPlay adapter to connect every time, you know, maybe you can try this and maybe this will solve those issues. Okay, 
here's the thing, and I had to change the way I normally go about getting on the bike and starting things because what I would normally do, it was I'd come out in the morning and like say come out from a restaurant and I would start the bike, let it get warmed up and then I'd put my helmet on and then I would start up my headset. And that didn't work. It would not. It would not connect reliably. I think it might have worked once or twice, but most of the time I ended up having to turn off the bike and turn it back on to get it connect. Okay. So what did I change? Well, here is the sequence of events that works for me. I go ahead and put my helmet on. You don't have to have the helmet on. It doesn't matter if the helmet's on or not. But. You turn the bike on. It doesn't matter if you start the bike. You can go ahead and start the engine. It doesn't seem to matter for me whether I start the engine or not. But when the motorcycle goes through its startup sequence, as soon as I see the blue screen after the little Goldwing logo, as soon as I see that blue screen, that's when I turn on my headset. Hello. Phone connected. And for some reason, that timing seems to work. And it goes on and it brings up the radio screen, always goes back to FM for some reason. Once you use on my motorcycle, every time I use Apple CarPlay and I start the bike up again, it always defaults back to FM. I start the bike up, the blue screen comes up. As soon as I see that blue screen, I turn on my headset. And eventually I will get the message that it connects. And then within, I'd say 15, 20 seconds, I will see the screen that the CarLink kit puts on the uh, Goldwing display. And that's my indication that it's gonna work. It's going to connect Apple CarPlay. If I don't do it in that particular timing where as soon as I see that blue screen, if I wait, if I wait until my radio comes on or whatever and then I do the headset, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But for some reason on this motorcycle with this center impulse and with this car link kit, and there is one other variable I will mention. I have my Senna Impulse helmet paired to the Goldwing on channel A of the communicator, the first channel. I have my Garmin GPS uh, paired on the B channel of the Senna Impulse helmet. And I don't know why, but for some reason, since I paired the GPS on the B channel, my Senna Impulse helmet connects to the Goldwing every time. If I don't have anything paired on the B channel, then I often have to start and restart, stop and restart the headset a couple of times to get it to connect. That makes no sense to me, but this is all... Uh, dark arts anyway. I don't understand how all this Bluetooth is working because from what I understand, the Goldwing is a very, very old version of Bluetooth. This Senna has a very new version of Bluetooth. I'm assuming the CarLink kit has a newer version of Bluetooth. And so getting all these parts to work together seems to, it's, it's dark arts in my opinion. But this one's working right now for me. And I've done enough testing with the CarLink kit with the wireless uh, CarPlay that it seems to be working very well. I've made several phone calls. The reception seems to be good. I don't seem to have any trouble with it breaking up or being any worse than it would be if I had the phone plugged into the motorcycle. It also seems very reliable as far as uh, Siri or as far as texting, it's worked very well so far. I've been very happy with it. Now, as many of you know, a lot of you purchased this car link kit based on my recommendation, and I will put links in the description down below. I'm gonna go through the sequence again and let you see how I do it on my motorcycle so that you can see how it works. First, we're gonna turn on the motorcycle, let that screen come up, and as soon as I see that blue screen, I'm going to hit the 
start buttons, the two buttons on my center impulse to start up the headset, and you'll hear it connect. And then within, it takes about 45 seconds for the whole thing to finish, but it will bring up the CarPlay screen. It's been working well for me. So let me know what your sequence is, and if you've been able to come up with a way to get your CarLink kit or your other Apple CarPlay wireless CarPlay adapter to work well for you. Let me know in the comments down below so that other people can see it. Make sure you, you tell which Bluetooth communicator you're using. Make sure you tell what year model Goldwing you have. I don't know that that would make a difference, but it doesn't hurt to mention it. And let us know if you have something paired on channel A and channel B. I do not have my cell phone paired to the motorcycle. I only have the Senna paired to the motorcycle, and I have the Senna paired to the GPS. And that's it in my scenario. These are all variables that might make a difference if you're having trouble getting your wireless CarPlay to connect. Hello. Phone connected. Device connected. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your situation in the comments down below. And again, if you're interested in wireless CarPlay or wireless Android, should work the same way. I don't know, I have not tested this with wireless Android. If you have, please let us know in the comments down below what your experience has been. Maybe it works a little differently with wireless Android Auto. I have an iPhone, so I'm using CarPlay. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the YouTube rankings. And I'll look for you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.